Welcome to the live streaming of the Holy Mass from the Redemptus Media Center. Let us pray for the following intentions during this sacred celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of God, our loving Father, the love of Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each one of you, my friends. And with your spirit. The prophet Ezekiel says, I will bring them home and make them one nation. Throughout this time of Lent, we were called to return to God and once again become his loving people through re repentance and through a change of heart. And now as we come, approach the most important season of the Holy Week of Lent, let us know that the Lord has come very close to us and we need to reach, reach out to his hands. For the times we failed, let's ask his pardon and forgiveness. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have made all those reborn in Christ, a chosen race and a royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in faith of their hearts and the home homage of their deeds through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I will make them one nation. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will take the people of Israel from the nations among which they have gone, and will gather them from all around, and bring them to their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land on the mountains of Israel. And one king shall be king over them all, and they shall be no longer two nations and no longer divided into two kingdoms. They shall not define themselves any more with their idols and their detestable things or with any of their transgressions, but I will save them from all the backsliding in which they have sinned and will cleanse them and they shall be my people and I will be their God. My servant David shall be king over them and they shall all have one shepherd. They shall walk in my rules and be careful to obey my statutes. 
they shall dwell in the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, where your fathers lived. They and their children and their children's children shall dwell there forever, and David my servant shall be their prince forever. I will make a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will set them in their land and multiply them, and will set my sanctuary in their midst for evermore. My dwelling place shall be with them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Then the nations will know that I am the Lord who sanctifies Israel, when my sanctuary is in their midst for evermore. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, your response. The Lord will keep us as a shepherd keeps his flock. The Lord will keep us as a shepherd keeps his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Say he who scattered Israel will gather him and will keep him as a shepherd keeps his flock. The Lord will keep us as a shepherd keeps his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob and has redeemed him from hands too strong for him. They shall come and sing aloud on the height of Zion, and they shall be radiant over the goodness of the Lord. The Lord will keep us as a shepherd keeps his flock. Then shall the young women rejoice in the dance, and the young men and the old shall be merry. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will comfort them and give them gladness for sorrow. The Lord will keep us as a shepherd keeps his flock. Kindly rise for the gospel. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Cast away from you all the transgressions that you have committed, says the Lord, and make yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and had seen what Jesus did believed in him. But some of them went to tell the Pharisees what Jesus had done. Then the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting. Here is a man working all these signs, they said, and what action are we taking? If we let him go on this way, everybody will believe in him, and the Romans will come and destroy the holy place and our nation. One of them, Caiaphas, the high priest, that year, said, You do not seem to have grasped the situation at all. You fail to see that it is better for one man to die for the people than for the whole nation to be destroyed. He did not speak in his own person. It was as high priest that he made this prophecy that Jesus was to die for the nation and not for the nation only but to gather together in unity the scattered children of God. From that day they were determined to kill him. So Jesus no longer went about openly among the Jews but left the district for a town called Ephraim in the country bordering on the desert and stayed there with his disciples. The Jewish Passover drew near and many of the country people who had gone up to Jerusalem to purify themselves looked out for Jesus saying to one another as they stood about in the temple, what do you think? Will he come for the festival or not? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We stand at the threshold of Holy Week. 
Tomorrow we are going to have Palm Sunday or Passion Sunday where we see Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem and the people praising him, calling him king. But soon they will hand him over to be crucified and destroyed. There is going to be high drama. It is going to be the climax of the life of Jesus. Climax not only of the life of Jesus, but also the climax of our liturgical year, where we celebrate the Passover. The people are gathered and all curious to see because Jesus had raised up Lazarus and they are wondering what other signs Jesus would show. But the scribes and Pharisees want to do away with him. There is going to be severe, profound and terrible activity in the temple city. Jesus will be sacrificed. As Caiaphas says, one man can be sacrificed for the sake of the nation and everyone will turn against Jesus. While we get ready to face Jesus, facing his cross and carrying him, we also are called to experience a profound silence where we too reflect with Jesus not only his journey through Calvary and his death, but also the call for each one of us to experience the Paschal Mysteries. Our focus these days will be on silence and our focus these days will be on the cross because where the cross is, Jesus is. Where Jesus is, the cross will be. The cross and Jesus are inseparable. It is through the cross that Jesus is going to achieve the victory. Let us pray this song as our prayer too. Jesus, keep me near the cross. Jesus, keep me near the cross, there a precious fountain, free to all the healing stream, from Calvary's mountain, in the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever. Till my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. In the cross a trembling soul, love and mercy found me. There the bright and morning star sheds its beams around me. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever, till my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. Give them all to Jesus, shut the dreams for dead. 
pray, my dear friends, that this your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray, and as an expiation of our sins, may they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fam of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once again giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and a drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Savior, Savior of the world For by your cross and resurrection You have set us free Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Peter our Archbishop, the clergy, religious and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My friends, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sincere sign of his peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 
Dear friends, today being a Saturday, we have the Novena to our Mother of Perpetual Help at 6 p.m. So do join in for the Novena and send in your thanksgivings and petitions before 12 noon. We're going to also have a new episode of That Catholic Couple, a series that we've been uh, hosting at Redemptorist Media Center, which uh, talks about Christian marriage and uh, beautifully put together by uh, Dr. Joel and uh, Susanna, a very interesting couple. So do catch up with this new episode uh, coming this evening after the Holy uh, Novena at 6.30 p.m. We'll see you again tomorrow for Mass and uh, for other Lenten programs also for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for God's blessings. Have mercy, Lord, on your church as she brings you her supplications and be attentive to those who incline their hearts before you. Do not allow, we pray, those you have redeemed by the death of your only begotten Son to be harmed by their sins or weighed down by their trials. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless you and remain with you. Amen. Amen. Let us go in the peace and in the joy of Christ. Thanks be to God. Yeah.